It was one of the most intense protest since the movement began in July. This movement started off as a student-led protest, but it has since grown into a much bigger movement that included people of all ages and occupations. In the beginning of the protest, we see some of the student protesters use characters from popular culture like Harry Potter's and the Hamster Japanese cartoon Hamtaro as part of their protest, but now it's sort of grown into something that's more mainstream. The protesters are demanding the government's resignation, a rewriting of the constitution and monarchy reform. The government has declared a state of emergency for Bangkok to disperse protesters who surrounded the prime minister's office overnight. And the police have also arrested top leaders in an early morning raid. These events basically followed a key anti-government protest on Wednesday when tens of thousands of protesters broke through police lines and marched to the government's house. And some of the protesters openly defied members of the royal family by holding up three fingers, which is one of the symbols for this protest movement as the royal motorcade passed through the protest area. Uh, what could happen next? That is really difficult to predict at this point. The protester have called for another gathering today. Um, what the protester really wants is the change in the government, the change in the constitution for greater democracy and less power for the monarchy. And without these changes, we will likely see this protest movement uh, escalating and intensifying in coming days, whether that be online or on the street. It's hard to know exactly what will happen.